Oh, strength training! <laughs> Guys, you never thought tofu would be such a workout. This is why they say tofu is a healthy food. Hello, I'm Feeds, and this is Feeds to Table on Japan by Food. This is a series in which I discover how all things food related are made, and then I take those items to the table and enjoy, which is the most important part for a foodie like me. Now today, I'm here in Isehara at the foot of Mount Oyama, beautiful mountain. But this area is famous for one particular Japanese food ingredient, tofu. Now, why is that? Well, the area has quite an interesting history. We'll find out more about that later. But one important thing is it has beautiful, clean water, as you can see behind me here. And that, I've heard, is very important. But that's enough for now. I'm going to visit a tofu maker and learn all the interesting details and get stuck in. So let's go. I have arrived at Yusui Kobo. This is a tofu store right here behind me that has been making tofu on Mount Oyama for the past 15 years. Now, why did they suddenly start making tofu? The answer lies across the road over here. And this is Tō Bakubo, which is a guest house that has been run by the same family for 400 years. For all the pilgrims that come to pray at the shrine at Mount Oyama, which is a really, really holy place. But without further ado, it's time to go and see how that tofu is made. I'm about to meet the owner, Ayahara-san. Let's go. Atsuma-san. Oh, hi. Oh, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa, Bobo Dada desu. Konnichiwa. Oh, so much fun. Bobo Dada desu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.神奈川県伊佐原昭和山で豆腐屋ゆうすいこうぼを営んでおります。相原拓也と言います。豆腐屋さんはいつから何の企画で始めたんですか。向かいにあるあの宿坊東学坊。あのここはあの豆腐解析
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna scrub this amazing stone here. So, cool you feel me like this? Okay, nice. Korewa do. Okay. Nice. Oh, look, it's up in here as well. I failed. It was still dirty. So, this is like the remaining parts of the soybean, soy pulp, literally the remaining solid after the beans have been heated up to 100 degrees. And this machine here has basically separated the, soy, the soybeans and the water. So this is the remaining solids coming out here, which, my God, it, it looks like dough. Maybe I'm just saying that from someone who loves bread. So this is pure, the freshest soy milk you can get. It's literally coming out the machine just as is. I'm having my face steamed with soy milk. And you know, they do sell moisturizing products here in Japan where you can have torn new face cream. And this is what is going to become tofu. Oh, My excitement level is reaching max. I have the freshest soy milk I've ever held in my life. It's really, really hot. I've just come outside to have a little bit of a drink. Oh, it smells really rich and creamy. Oh, it smells amazing. Try not to burn my tongue with excitement. Oh, it's so comforting. It's kind of got a silkiness to it. And he's going to be using this to make um, kinugoshi, which is the silken tofu. That's originated in Japan. It's really soft and it kind of slides down as you eat it. And I can just, just from this hot soy milk, I can kind of imagine it. I have to go back in and help in a moment, but I'm just enjoying my quiet soy milk time. So I was just listening to Aihara-san explain about this machine that separates the go, the soybean-like soup, into the fresh hot soy milk and the okara, the soy pulp. And it's really expensive to buy. So kind of setting yourself up as a tofu maker is an expensive mission. One thing I've already seen a lot of different secret techniques, which I'm not allowed to tell you, of how Aihara-san makes his tofu so delicious. So that's the kind of love and care you get into these smaller scale tofu making. And I, I think it's really amazing. I'm really looking forward to trying the finished product. Aihara-san has given me a, an important task of separating the remaining okara, soy pulp, from the rest of the soy milk. So, okay. Okay, so ready to move my biceps? Like this. Cool. Motto. Okay, okay, okay. Kore de daijoubu. Good, thank you. Oh, strength training. <laughs> Guys, you never thought tofu would be such a workout. This is why they say tofu is a healthy food. <laughs> oh, that's such a bad joke. <laughs> As you can see, there's some solids in this net here, and you've been se we've been separating it from the soy milk to make sure they can make really smooth tofu. You can see how the pro does it. Wow, and he's seeing the real lifting. Wow. Um, basically, what he's going to do next is he's going to add um, nigare, which is a kind of um, natural salt concentration. And that is a coagulant that is going to make the, the soy milk harden into tofu. But he has to do it really, really quickly. Because if the temperature falls, it's going to get uh, too hard too quickly. So it's all about the timing from now on. It's a race against time and I'm just watching. Oh, it is quite heavy. This is quite heavy, guys. So basically, I've got to very slowly put it into the water. Like so. Like so. Right. Okay. All right. Loosen up the bottom like that. So I've got to bring the blocks out very gently now by going like this. Oh, 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 please come out. Oh, oh. Oh, it's a little bit, a little bit flaking off. Really good. It's really soft. So basically, it's going to wait till they sink a little bit in the water, so they harden up just a tiny bit, just the right amount to let you cut them into smaller blocks ready to sell. So we have to be a little bit patient, but I want to eat them. So the very end piece isn't good, so I've got to cut that off and throw it away, and then I have to try and cut it into six even pieces using my judgment of my eyes. Okay, you have to hold it in the, just the right level to kind of get it balanced and floating. Okay, I'm doing it this way, and I've got to do it to three. Okay, gotcha. 
Oh, we have this dish, and I'm gonna get to fish out one of these pieces of tofu ready for eating. This baby here. Oh, it's so soft, and even though the water is cold, this is warm, and I kind of want to squidge it, which is not allowed. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, 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 Musagashi! Musagashi! Oh, look how springy that is! Freshly made tofu. It's beautiful. Ooh, look at that jiggle. I feel like we need some music. You can see, my one is too fat for the packaging. <laughs> I need to improve my cutting skills. Because what they're going to do now is use this machine here to put the lids on the packaging, which is pretty good. Okay, so there's all this beautiful food, but I have to start with my slightly non-beautiful amount of tofu that I have put in this dish. And now I'm going to use the cutest fork I've ever seen. It's got three holes in and apparently it's made especially for tofu. So this is to let some of the liquid drain out. First of all, plain. Smooth, creamy, sweet happiness in my mouth. I didn't think I could love tofu this much, but I could just eat that, spoon, one spoon or one fork after another and never grow bored of it. It truly is delicious. However, in the name of science, I will add a little bit of sauce. A dip in here, maybe a bit of ginger. Let's try. My entire head body is being purified. I'm like, whoo, oh, the freshness is incredible. This is okada, what we saw coming out of the machine as the soy, um, soy pulp, and they've mixed it to make it into a salad. So I'm really interested to try this. Oh, it's kind of creamy texture. Let's try. Oh, it's got a really rich flavor. I think they mixed it with mayonnaise. And um, it looks like potato salad. I would call this the soy version of potato salad. Next we have Yamabuki tofu. And this is from Momen. So slightly firmer tofu than the one we were making earlier. And it's uh, been steamed with vegetables and covered with egg. So let's give this a try. As you can see, it's uh, much firmer. Oh, it's kind of um, it's got some sweet dashi in it. And um, I kind of want to marry this dish. It's pretty, de this is a good bet. Oh, I love it. So this is tofu that's been covered in a sweet miso. Mm. The rich saltiness of the miso for the sweetness is just beautiful. The emperor and empress. Inside the lady, we have apple in another kind of tofu sauce. I don't even know how they've made this. This is blowing my mind. And also apple and tofu, can they even go together? Let's find out. What is the world of tofu? I'm so confused because I would not know that was tofu. Okay. And inside we have cream cheese, but also mixed with tofu. It's a cream cheese that says, I am fattening for you in a really good, dangerous way. Oh, it's delicious. Let's just count here. How many different ways is tofu in front of me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if that does not demonstrate the versatility of tofu, I don't know what does. This has been Phoebe's to Table on Japan by Food. And I've talked a lot about tofu. I've learned a lot about tofu. And I hope all of you have learned something as well. For all the details from today's episode, make sure you check the description below and you can follow any of the links. Now, I am going to be undertaking a new challenge fairly soon, so make sure you keep watching. And of course, if any of you have ideas as what you would like to see made, it can be anything from you know, food related items, like food to cutlery, anything like that. Please send us a message, give us a comment, let us know what you would like to see. However, in the meantime, I have a lot more tofu to carry on eating, so gonna have to see you next time.